PLC bonds and Dachi Trust PLC bonds for a package of 12 new bonds which are currently being issued. My friends, the, the debt exchange is an invitation by the government to, uh, for eligible bondholders to participate in a bond and lower the average coupon rate to create fiscal space to bring the debt to GDP ratio to the stated 55% by 2028. The government had acknowledged the difficulty, the difficulties of this inevitable debt operation necessary to bring our debt to sustainable levels. This acknowledgement by the government is reflected in its willingness to engage and accommodate the proposals that have come from the various stakeholders. In addition, the government's targets aggressive fiscal consolidation measures and enhanced revenue measures to ensure that the economy stabilizes quickly. Strong evidence of fiscal adjustments and revenue measures are captured in the 2023 budget. I think we've had occasion to discuss this, but I'll just take the time to go over a few of them. The budget proposed some 13 consequential cuts to begin with, the, there's been, uh, I think, in the second year now, a 30% cut to all government appointees' salary. That has been significant and is in the second year running. Um, the other proposals which are captured in the budget is the MDA, MMDAs, and SEOs, uh, uh, um, uh, state-owned uh, enterprises, have been directed to reduce fuel allocation to political appointees and heads of MDAs and MMDAs and SOEs by 50%. There's a ban on the use of VAs or the equivalents except for cross-country travel. Only essential official travels across government, including SOEs, shall be allowed. Meetings and workshops should be held within the official government, the official environment of government facilities. Government-sponsored external trainings and staff development activities at the Office of the President, Ministries, SOEs uh, have been put on hold. There is, ladies and gentlemen, a reduction in the size of all convoys. A freeze on tax waivers for foreign companies while tax exemption for companies in the free zones will be reviewed, including mining, oil and gas companies. The moratorium is placed on the creation of new government agencies. No ministry, department or agency, including SOEs, are, is permitted to use public funds economy and then they'll be seeking for occasion to come and dump it back again. And you know, as we speak, they don't have any solutions to offer. They talk and all they say is to blame and oftentimes we discount that real things are happening in, the, in this world that are impacting our economy, for which reason uh, we have these difficulties. And so what that tells you, that if they don't understand what is happening in the environment, they cannot formulate a solution to solve the problem. The NDC always, ladies and gentlemen, will kick the can down the road and wait for the MPP to win power and fix it. For example, in 2016, before we came into power again, you remember the NDC inherited a very buoyant financial sector. There was a time in this country under President before, before NDC came, banks and financial services will be chasing people for loans. But by the time the NDC finished their work, it was almost impossible, almost impossible to get a loan because the interest rates were so high and they had actually 
undermine the regulatory capacity of the, well, the Bank of Ghana to be able to make sure that the banking sector thrived and grew uh, to ensure uh, some strengthening to the economy. To boost our forest reserve, the Ministry of Finance is working as seriously with the leadership of Parliament to carve a domiciliation policy which will compel extractive companies to repatriate all forex earned from sales of natural resources on the global commodity market to Ghana. Nigeria currently does or has this policy and it operates under their local content development and monitoring board. The government is also working to pass tax exemption um, bill into law review the free zones area policy to plug leakages and abuses. Government is working to plug revenue leakages, especially within the extractive sector, focusing on misdescription and underreporting of imports. Government is working to secure our borders to forestall smuggling of taxable goods. Government is working to deepen the ongoing digitalization and an efforts to ensure uh, efficiency uh, in tax collection and administration. Government is working to enhance domestic revenue mobilization by increasing efficiency in tax collection, for example, uh, eliminate the human interface in tax collection. Strengthening the enforcement and monitoring regime of e-commerce, betting and gaming. Address off-budget expenditure by making sure all government expenditures go through gift lists. Enforce con commitment controls with all, within all various ministries, eliminate unauthorized expenditure, as well as ensure that MBAs do not sign contracts without an approved budget. And finally, finally, government is working to establish intersectoral working groups to address cross-cutting issues review contracts, and ensure standard reporting among ministries. Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.